More LED lamps to take to bits. This time it's a LED GU10, 2 watt, a pack of three by a company called, well, a brand TCP. So internally, um, the all plastic type construction by the look of it so far. Um, three LEDs and the reflector in the middle. And what almost looks like I'm guessing it's glued in, I'm not 100% sure, the little plastic rim. These ones are the type that have the breathable fins, and I'm guessing they're a, a thermally conductive plastic. So um, let's see if we can open this. There's nothing really obvious at the back for screws. Let's use the force. Oh, that was easier than expected. The front plastic frame, hold this up to the camera to focus, seems to be unclipping. And the Lens assembly has come out, revealing three LEDs on what I'm guessing is an aluminium substrate PCB. And, uh, I, I don't think this will be a capacitive dropper because it's only a few LEDs. So let's uh, lift the PCB out. Ooh, long screws, very long screws. Yeah, those screws could actually be long enough to be holding this onto the back. The PCB is hooked. It seems to have uh, some little lugs. Um, at the bottom here that the PCB is hooked under before being screwed down, probably to help align it. It's not easily coming up. The cables seem quite short. Oh, ah. Uh -huh. um, this appears to be sliding out. Ooh. I think maybe. Right. Snips. So it's now come into two parts. It's come into the little module, which has a choke in it and a chip. So I'm guessing it's probably going to be... Ooh. It's well stuck in. Right here, let's destroy. More brute force. Ooh. And here's the module, which is looking very much like the classic buck regulator at the moment, which is just switching the mains down directly through probably this large choke here. This one will be for filtering, I'm guessing. Yes, and there's the filtering capacitors. That looks like a metal oxide varistor, just for suppression. And a component that could be a fuse. Yep. F1, it's a fuse. So fuse suppression um, metal oxide varistor. There's a bridge rectifier, um, which that's going straight to. And then there's a couple of stages of filtration with these capacitors here and this small choke here. Then it's being switched with this chip here, uh, through this choke, and the output will probably be rectified by a diode, and then the capacitor, and the LEDs will probably be directly across that if it's anything like the usual. Yes, it does look like that. So what's the chip called? If it's labelled, Glasses on, gets me close to this. Ooh, this is proving quite hard to read actually. Oh, it's one of those with it's 
very scratchy looking text on it. Unreadably scratchy text. There's a lot of it on it as well. Try and get it at an angle. It's, it's laser etched in, so it's actually quite hard to read. And it's not very complete, the text. It's really not very good at all. Oh, I may have to look at that later and uh, so I can decipher what it is under a different light. Nope, can't read that at all. But anyway, let's go back to the LED PCB now. Now that I've chopped the wires, let's see if we can hike it out. It is aluminium at the back, as you'd expect, and it's got heatsink compound just going on to the plastic. So the plastic is acting as the thermal dissipator. All very neat. I noticed that the circuit board has holes on it, which the silicon, the, the heat sink compound is squished up through. And those holes also serve to align the reflector, which falls off instantly. But there you go. That's interesting. It's a nice enough little lamp. Um, maybe give some of these soak test and see how well they last. <laughs>